Peace. What is up, everybody? I am Oneno, and welcome to today's blog video. We got a really cool subject today, and the topic is the three types of mental poison. So we don't really talk about this stuff from this perspective very often, but it is possible to mentally contaminate yourself while you think you are mentally contaminating somebody else. You see, we live in a reality that is in a three-dimensional mirror. Every single person, every situation that you find yourself in is a reflection of something going on within you. Now, are you necessarily responsible for somebody else's behavior? Absolutely not. They are responsible for their behavior. But there are three types of mental poison that you can contribute towards somebody else and the lie is that you could give these mental poisons to somebody else and not receive them yourself. So now what the heck am I talking about? What three mental poisons are we talking about? Let's just lift them off as we go. So starting with number three, the third type of mental poison that you can experience is jealousy. So again, the point of all three of these mental poisons I'm going to be telling you about is stuff that we entertain in our own brain that we seem to think cannot affect us. We seem to think that when we're jealous of somebody else, we, the ego lie is that the jealousy is based on somebody else. So you think that you can be jealous and not be affected by your jealousy. It's a very strange ego trap, but of course, it's totally false. If you are jealous of somebody else and what somebody else has in their life, first of all, has that person ever thought about you? Most likely not. Second of all, jealousy comes from a state of mind that is full of lack. And when you believe that there is not enough for everybody to go around, then you become jealous because now you look at somebody else and you say, well, this person has this type of thing. They have this kind of car, or this kind of clothing, or this type of girl or whatever. And now you become jealous of that person. But let's look at the underlying factor of where this jealousy is coming from. And it's coming from a mental state of lack. You only are jealous of that person because you see what they have and you internally believe that you cannot have it and therefore you become jealous. Let's flip that on its head. If you looked at somebody else and you saw the world through the lens of abundance, that everybody can have everything, that there is plenty to go around for everyone, and that we all have different likes and dislikes, so therefore there is enough in this entire universe to satisfy each one of us. So now if I'm looking at this person through the lens of abundance, I can see Good for them, they found their match. If, I'm, if I otherwise would have been jealous of their partner and the fact that they had this beautiful partner, now through the lens of abundance, I can see good for them. They're doing something where they pulled their law of attraction, pulled their partner towards them, and they're so well matched. That's beautiful. And I can find that too. I can find my own version of that. So therefore, there's no need to be jealous. Because if I know and I believe that the universe is full of abundance and I can receive that which was meant for me and will be perfect for me, then I cannot be jealous of somebody else because I can, I can see then that my world, my universe will supply to me all the stuff that I need because there's plenty to go around for everybody and my desires and my likes are different. And plus, I don't even know what that person's life is like. Maybe they're in a relationship that I'm jealous of, but they can't even stand each other. Who knows? So basically, the third type of mental poison is jealousy. And it is a mental poison that damages your own self. So let's jump to the second type of mental poison. Type number two. This type of mental poison is judgment. When you stand in a place of judgment, again, the ego lies and says that you can judge somebody else and that you're above that judgment. But again, you live in a three-dimensional mirror called material reality. 
and every situation is here to reflect to you something going on within. So let's say you're out in public and you walk by a person and this person is on their cell phone and they're having a horrible conversation with somebody and they reveal to you, a, a passerby, a stranger who's passing by, they happen to reveal to you a certain type of personality trait that you find horrendous and you think they're shallow, you think they're terrible, and you start judging them. You start saying, how could this person even be successful? They don't deserve this success that they've got. Look at them, they're wearing a suit. That means that they're probably some kind of corporate sellout or who knows what. All of this internal dialogue is my own projection onto that person. So let's look at it from the reverse situation. I'm standing there on the street. This guy is walking on his cell phone, passes by me. He doesn't know me at all. He doesn't know anything about going on in my mind. So therefore, everything going on in my mind is my own mental creation. And now here's the truth of our minds. When we entertain things in our minds, those very thoughts affect us first. And so if we look at our brothers and sisters and we judge them and we say, this person must be a negative person, all we are highlighting is that we have a judgment and that we are in fact seeing our own internal negative conversation. And so it's best to lay judgment aside and it's better to just say, I don't know what's going on in that person's life. I have no idea what it's like to be in their shoes. They're a 30 year old human being and I'm meeting them on one day out of their entire life. Who knows who they really are? Who knows what they're really all about? And so therefore any thoughts that I uh, entertain beyond that thought process I just said can dip into the zone of judgment. And when you judge somebody else, when you condemn somebody else mentally, that is a form of a mental attack thought. Now, these mental attack thoughts do not end up harming the other person. They end up harming yourself more than anybody else because it's in your own mind <clears throat> that you created these thoughts, that you're entertaining these thoughts. And therefore it's in your own mind that these thoughts will take root. And so the more you judge people, the more you judge yourself. And it is a mental poison because it's like a bacteria and it spreads, it goes and goes and goes and it becomes hard to stop at a certain point. And so the best thing you can do is to stop entertaining judgment whatsoever. And before I move to this final, uh, what the last mental poison is, to wrap up judgment, it's, it's, there's a clear definition between observing somebody and judging somebody. You can observe somebody's negative behavior and not make a mental judgment about it, not make a mental story about it, and certainly not condemn the other person. You know it, you're judging somebody when you hold them to their negative past behavior. If somebody has displayed a negative past behavior and now they are displaying a, a present moment positive behavior, if you are holding them to that past negative behavior and do not allow them to be present and positive and try to make a change, you are judging them based on their past, not based on who they are presently. And so judgment becomes this cloud that can veil us from seeing who the other person actually is. <clears throat> and most times we often judge people very critically because we are taught to judge ourselves incredibly critically. So let's jump to the final third type of mental poison. What is this? I actually, this is the first type of mental poison. I realized I was starting three, two, one. So now here's the first type of mental poison and that is fear. Now fear is an incredible mental poison because oftentimes fear is rooted in facts or figures that are completely unknown. And so in essence, you have no information. And so therefore you make a judgment 
and the judgment you make is based in fear. And so you judge the unknown, the future unknown, or the unknown of a person, or the unknown of a situation, and you perceive it from a perspective of fear, as if everything could go wrong. But let's say you're standing at, the, at a moment of decision. You're standing on your path and you're about to have to make a decision to either go left or go right. Now, there's a part of you deep within called your intuition. It's buried right inside of your heart. And this intuition bubbles up and says, ah, you should go left or ah, you should go right. But if you don't follow that intuition, the next voice that you will hear is the voice of fear. Because now let's say your intuition says, ah, you should go left. And now you hear that very clear intuition, I should go to my left. But now all of a sudden you say, but what if left goes wrong? What if I should go to the right? What if I go left and everything fails and falls apart? I should have gone right in the first place. But then what if I go right and left really was the right one? Now I'm down the right path and I should have gone the left path. So fear ultimately clouds the internal intuition that you had, the internal answer that was already provided. Because the universe, a law of the universe is that whenever there is a question, there is an answer. And the answer is embedded in the question. So anytime you have a question, the answer will come to you the moment that you ask the question. But it's only our egos that will have fear of that answer. And so if we maintain a mental status of fear, then all available information to us will be perceived as something that will threaten us and that will pull us apart and that will destroy us. Because fear cannot see how the pieces come together. Only love can do that. Only love can see how all of these seemingly separate pieces fit together. So to recap, the first type of mental poison is fear. Don't make mental stories about the unknown before you actually get there. Allow yourself to see the unknown as infinite potential that is here to bless you and open you up to a whole nother level of being. That is the true purpose of the unknown. It's not here to destroy you. The unknown is all of the potential elements and things and personality traits and behaviors and experiences that you could possibly have. We live in an infinite spectrum, so why would you expect anything less? First type of mental poison, fear. Second type of mental poison, judgment. When you judge somebody else, you judge yourself. When you're hypercritical of somebody else, you're hypercritical of yourself. So clear it out internally and then love your brothers and your sisters. The third type of mental poison is jealousy. Stop being jealous of what other people have or what other people are experiencing. You are on a path that nobody else is on. And the path that you are on has a lifetime full of experiences that nobody else will ever have. And if you stay true to your path, you will get to the end of your life and you will have experienced a story that nobody else on the planet has ever experienced. So what is there to be jealous of? You are living an entirely tailored experience. The whole universe is coming together to support you living the life that you live right now. And if you don't like the life you live right now, then change it. You live in an interactive universe. The universe is waiting for you to, to take the reins and to go forward into the world as you see yourself. You are here to become your greatest version, so don't let anything stop you, and especially don't let any of these three mental poisons come into that path, because these three mental poisons will halt you right where you are standing and you will not go anywhere. <laughs> so let go of fear, let go of judgment, let go of jealousy, root yourself in your path, find your center, trust your voice of intuition and move forward from there into your relationships, into your experiences and into manifesting the, the life of your dreams. All right. 
Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Give this video a like. Check out more of my videos here on YouTube. And until I see you again along the journey, oneness in sound, I am Oneno. Peace out, y'all.